I'm kind of busy here. Guts of blood, screams of pain. I hear you'll be taking part in the main event at the Coliseum tomorrow. You'd better rest up. Best of luck to you tomorrow. I trust you. Knock him dead. <laughs> Songwriting? Oh, I'm not. But I wanted to give it a shot. I see. Well, good for you. Never know till you try. Hmm. Oh. <laughs> they say curiosity <laughs> kills the cat. Here. Cloud's all yours. I'll take care of Aerith after. Yes, ma'am. Sure does sleep a lot, huh? It's better this way. What? Why? Because of Cloud. He's still sick. Please. You gotta make Cloud get better. You gotta. I mean, I'd love to, but... You, uh... You said it's better for Aerith to stay asleep because Cloud's sick. Why is that? Because she'll die if she wakes up. Oh, you think? What makes you say that? Uh. Promise not to tell? <sighs> when she wakes up, a scary man is gonna kill her. Cloud tries to save her, but he doesn't make it in time. He almost does, but he doesn't. She likes Cloud, so she's happy he came. Really, really happy. But... But... she dies. That's why you have to make Cloud better. If he's sick, he can't save Aerith. Marlene, are you sure you didn't just have a bad dream? No. I saw it. 
Oh, okay. I did. <laughs> Don't worry. I believe you. With everything that's going on, how could I not? Okay. Just one question, if it's all right. Can you tell me what this scary man looked like? Please? His hair was long. And gray. Of all the people... Zack, did you see? They're blooming. Would you look at that? These were always Aerith's favorites. Do you think this means she's going to wake up? <sighs> Maybe. Can always hope. <sighs> hey, Elmira. I've got to go away for a bit. Need to talk to someone about Cloud. And who is this someone? A doctor? Well, he's, uh... <laughs> Close enough, I suppose. Well, hurry on back, okay? It's hard enough looking after these two with your help, but without it... Without you, I'd be a wreck. <laughs> Don't worry, I'm going by bike. Shouldn't take long. Just keep an eye on him while I'm gone, okay? Oh, and if Aerith does wake up, please don't let her leave. <laughs> no promises. That girl snuck out more times than I can count. <laughs> Don't let her, please. I won't. Make sure that you're back by dinner. I thought about what you said. Couldn't stop thinking about it, actually. About how it's up to each, each of us to find our own purpose in life. Because in Avalanche, I think I found mine. We don't have a whole lot of time. So tonight's got to be the night. Do yourself a favor and steer clear of Reactor 6. <laughs> Take care, Bix. No, I didn't... That's not what I meant! <clears throat> Gotta find Elmira.
Those are some pillow marks. You must have been out like a light. You know, there's a showing of Loveless about to start. And I've got two tickets to it. We should go. Also, the Skywheel's running a special for couples. Limited time only. For couples? As in... I'll leave that up to your imagination. It's more fun that way. What about the others? Forget about them. For now, anyway. Oh. <laughs> Come on. Are you here to see Loveless? Congratulations. <laughs> Would you like to sing it? Me?
Damn. She was a star. Huh? A mechanical metropolis built of blood, sweat, and gears. The city of Garga. An insatiable machine devoid of pity. Neighbors on all sides fell victim to its hunger while it grew larger and ever more powerful. The whirlwind of conquest swept up many, including him. Alfre was the traveler's name. In search of the goddess's blessing, he had journeyed forth alone. He flung himself into the fray in the hope of becoming a hero, only to be flung in jail and branded a villain. To proceed, or not to proceed? These bars shall not hold me. I must fly free. Release me! My blade thirsts for vengeance! How did you find me? Your woeful cries could not fail to reach mine ears. of the goddess as she has set me free even now so too shall she guide my place <laughs> pride goeth before the fall and I Garm shall deliver you to hell May mine infernal fangs find their mark and taste of your flesh!
a splendid show. Never have I seen a swordsman dance with such grace and skill. The goddess must have seen fit to grant him a sliver of her strength. Perhaps his dreams of becoming a hero may yet be fulfilled. Now then, ha, hail and well met, noble Alfred. Though I am but a humble fool, some talent and divination do I possess. Anything you wish to know, I shall gladly reveal. What is the future, if not the product of choices past? Each a fork in the road. None can divine the conclusion of every path. And yet, all tales that begin with a chance encounter share the same end. A tearful farewell. Well, that's enough of my blethering. It's time we set the stage in you. Tremble in fear before the mighty dragons roar! remarkable display of swordsmanship enough to prove his heroism once and for all he had been unjustly imprisoned and stripped of his wings nevertheless Alfred was resolved to press onward and reclaim the heavens now without further ado friends lend me your ears our aspiring heroes and indomitable princess's tale draws to a close. Only one act remains. Parting is indeed such sweet sorrow, but as they say, all good things must come to an end. Though it is our wish that this tale remain with you long after we are gone. So, my friends, will you join us in our conquest of despair? Spectacular! Though our tale be loveless named, we may yet restore hope to this heartbroken world. The Dragon King Varvados fears only true love, and so our hero Alfred will reveal to him its power. He will go to his beloved and proclaim their blessed bond with a kiss. Now, stand before your soulmate and let the world know your heart. I love. Alfred. Ah, cease the charade. Love is not but an illusion. <laughs>
bereft of wings and broken. I consign you to the abyss. An inspiring victory, truly. Proof that love indeed conquers all, is it not? <laughs> what awaits you at journey's end, I wonder? Will the goddess grant you her blessing? Or will the flames of vengeance consume you? All shall be revealed, O oh puppet of fate. So dance while you still have time. Dance to your frayed strings break. And you can dance no more. Alfred, look. Must you go? Those I hold dear are waiting. I don't understand. I cannot. But... Please be safe. Rest assured, I shall return. You needn't promise that you'll wait. For I know that I will find you here. Could it be? 
Go on. What an experience. Could even call it life-changing. Guess so. Maybe you ought to go pro. You know, I just might. Attention! The Sky Wheel will be closing soon. Please line up and have your ticket ready. Uh-oh. We gotta hurry. Last call, folks! Thank you for joining us for tonight's special performance of Loveless. If you'd like to continue the magic this evening, you're invited to use your tickets to the show for one free ride on the Sky Wheel. Enjoy a stunning view of the gold saucer and the dazzling night sky. May I say what a tremendous honor it is to exchange these points. I pray you will entrust me with your points.